Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about uh, financial responsibility. I don't know why I'm making all these finance videos, but uh, even outside magic, as Magic the Gathering as a hobby has gotten more and more expensive, I know that a lot of you believe standard will be cheaper, but it's only cheaper at the cost of the cards that you're opening. Meaning the cards that you do open will have really, very few of them will have any long-term value and most of them will tank in price after rotation and we've already seen that with uh, Origins. If you look at Jace, the $100 Jace, he's no longer close to $100. And if you look at um, what's happening for Battle for Zendikar, because of the masterpieces, it's a more drastic uh, and um, I mean, Battle for Zendikar is still in standard and a whole playset play costs a, about $100. A whole playset of every single card. Outside Gideon, I don't think there's a card over $10. Um, so when we talk about, you know, financial responsibility, it's, you know, rent, it's food, it's rent is very expensive like rent is not a joke because if you don't make rent you don't have a place to live and i've tried to explain this to my friends very often and it comes off as condescending or but you know i am actually worried for them because there's been many situations where uh, they have had to sell things to me or a different vendor at a huge discount it's not because i'm not fair of the price especially with my friends they know I'm fair because to me, if it's something that I want to add to my collection, but then yeah, I'll pay a very good price. I'll pay 70, 80%, maybe even 90% for the foil lily I'm giving away. I'm paying, I pay 90% of whatever that Star City price was on it because I wanted the foil lily. But for something that's just like bulk, which I don't have any storage for, or something that is uh, in terms of anime figures, which you know, some of them, I, some characters, I don't watch that much anime and some characters, I don't even know who they are and they don't look good. Like one thing that I don't take and I don't know, I'm going to give you a tour of probably the new home I'm going to buy, maybe, uh, if I buy it. And you're going to see the anime figures. There's certain styles which I'm attracted to and some that I'm not. So like when someone's trying to sell me a $250 figure, I know it's $250, but I'm just like, ah. I can't see myself displaying that in public or buying it, I'm going to pass. It, it feels bad. So once we have so many different sets, Commander 2016 is the next set that's going to come out. I don't know what's after that, but I'm sure like a Christmas set or some, something random will come out that we don't actually know about. And it's just crazy to me how expensive the game has gotten. Back when I was in elementary school and we were playing the game, no one knew the prices of any cards and we barely, we didn't have eBay at the time. We had like Yahoo's version of eBay, which kind of sucked, but that's how I bought magic cards was from this Yahoo version. And it was a point that people were, were banned other players who bought cards online. I am not kidding you. My play group at the time uh, in middle school, we banned at anyone who they knew bought cards online, and that was how it was. As you get older, um, and you have more expenses. Um, if you have children, if you have obviously food, grocery, vacation, all this stuff that you want in life to accomplish and you know, to go out to a nice dinner, to travel. I was in uh, Pennsylvania for my sister's wedding. It was a great wedding, but it was definitely not a a cheap wedding it was a very well put together wedding and um, that cost I'm not gonna say how much but it it was not a inexpensive wedding it was a very nice wedding and there was like 82 guests and there was food there was drinks and alcohol <laughs> it's all of this stuff accumulates and once you get a little older you just think about um, magic in general and it used to be a magic cards retained their value and kept going up in price the dual lands have gone up in price for a very long time, but even besides cards on the reserve list, it used to be something like Filia and Malera, they weren't the exceptions. They were just Filia and Malera. They were just com uh, rares that no one wanted, that if you held on to them long enough, it would go up in price just because of the player growth. More players wanted older cards and cards were not reprinted as much. But now, you know, collections are pretty much, um, 
on the decline. I have not picked, I've not purchased, I've stayed away from purchasing collections for the last six months. And it's not because, you know, I haven't seen great collections. I've seen great ones, but I, I just have no interest in, um, since GP Houston, I have limited to, which was in February, I believe, uh, just, I've not picked up a single collection and I've not, I just don't feel like it is a good uh, way to spend a large amount of money anymore. And this is coming from someone who purchases a lot or he used to purchase cases of this stuff. I haven't purchased a case. The last case I purchased was uh, RTR. I purchased a case and a half, but um, I did not purchase a case of Battle for Zencar. I purchased a lot of fat packs of Battle for Zencar and Oath. Um, I did not purchase a case of Shadows. Origins would probably last set I purchased a case. I think I purchased like five or six boxes, so very close to a case if not a case. But for right now, you know, in a real talk, your rent is more important. Eating at eating healthy is more important. Uh, gym membership is more important. Like this is all stuff that I found as I've grown older, having a good dinner or your significant others, which my significant other really likes um, Papa seafood and she loves it, but it's not the cheapest place, especially since she orders like sea bass, which is like the most expensive thing on the menu, but that's another issue. <laughs> it's not really an issue. Well, I mean, with wine and stuff, like her portion of the bill is just insane. She doesn't watch these videos, by the way, so, and you guys don't know who she is, unless you follow me on the list, which you guys don't. Anyways, bye guys.